no paper number 10441 10441 nihl avos prelims now question number 61 to 65 these five questions are based on number series now in this number series first go through the directions once in this question a number series is given after the series a number followed by a b c d and e now this is a b c d and e you have to complete the series starting the given number following the sequence of the original series and answer the questions that follow the series isn't it now first we need to identify the logic in the given series in this one now 15 16 25.5 then 15 and 16 tell me now it comes on a difference product or a combination now 53 to 135 as the number is suddenly increasing hence it must be under combination hence 15 and 16 can be written as 15 into 1 is 15 plus 1 is 16 that is into 1 plus 1 and 16 and 25.5 now 16 into 1.5 is how much 16 into 1.5 is 24 plus 1.5 that is 24 plus 1.5 that is 25.5 and the next one is how much 25.5 this is into 1 plus 1 into 1.5 plus 1.5 and the next one must be into 2 plus 2. Now 25.5 into 2 is how much 51 plus 2 is 53. The next number is 53 and the next one must be into 2.5 plus 2.5 hence 53 into 2.5 is how much 106 plus 25.5 hence it 26.5 it will be 130 130 2.5 plus 2.5 will be 135. Now this is into 1 plus 1 into 1.5 plus 1.5 into 2 plus 2 and into 2.5 plus 2.5. Then similarly starting with this 7. Now we need to identify the number that is coming at point C. Now 7 into 1 plus 1 is how much 8. Now 8 into 1.5 plus 1.5. 8 into 1.5 is how much. 8 into 1.5 is 12 plus 1.5 is 13.5. Then 13.5 into 2 is 27 plus 2 will be 29 and it is given in choice 1. Done with this question number 61. The logic is into 1 plus 1 into 1.5 plus 1.5 into 2 plus 2 into 2.5 plus 2.5 and so on. Then question number 62. Now in this question number 62, 2, 7, 36, 175 and 696 are the given numbers in this one. 2736, 2736, 175 and 696. If you observe here, the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate from 175 to 696. As the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate, it must be under product or combination. But as 2 and 7 cannot be related in the product, hence it must be under combination. Then again in the case of combination, we should always check out at the highest number only, isn't it? Now 175 and 696, how can you relate these two? 175 into 4 is how much? 700 minus 4 will be 696 into 4 minus 4. Then 36 and 175 can be written as 36 into 5 is how much? 180 and minus 5 into 5 minus 5 into 4 minus 4 into 5 minus 5. Then 4, 5 and the next number must be 6. 7 into 6, 42 minus 6 is 36. And the previous one 4, 5, 6 and this must be into 7 minus 7. 2 into 7, 14 minus 7 is 7. And 7 into 6, 42 minus 6 is 36. 36 into 5, 180 minus 5 is 175 into 4 minus 4 and it is 696. Now we need to start from 7 applying the same logic that is 7 into 7 minus 7 is how much? 49 minus 7 that is 42 and 42 into 6 minus 6. Yes, what is, what is 42 into 6? 152, isn't it? 40 into 6 is how much? 242 plus 12, that is 252. And 252 minus how much? Minus 6, that will be 246. And the next one will be into 5 minus 5. Now 246 into 5 is how much? 1, 2, 3, 0. Minus 5 will be 1, 2, 2, 5. And it is given in choice 3. <coughs> Done with this? Into 7 minus 7, <coughs> into 6 minus 6 and into 5 minus 5, 1, 2, 2, 5, choice 3. Then coming to question number 63. Now in this 63, 3, 24, 125, 504 and 1515. Isn't it again? St the number is starting with 3 and is ending with 1515. 
as the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate, it must be under combination. Hence, 3, 24, 125, and 504, and the next one is 1515. And in the case of combination, we should always check out at the highest pair. Then, how to relate these two 504 and 1515? 504 into 3. Into 3 is how much? 1512 plus 3 will be 1515 into 3 plus 3. And the previous one. 125 and 504 can be written as 125 into 4 is 500 plus 4 is 504. Next one, 24 and 105. This is 24 into 5 is 120 plus 5 is 125. And the previous one is 3 into 6 plus 6. Into 6 plus 6 into 5 plus 5 into 4 plus 4 and into 3 plus 3. And similarly, starting with 5, we need to identify the number that is coming in the place of this D. Now, 5 into 6 plus 6. As tell me, what is 5 into 6 plus 6? 36. Now, 36 into 5 plus 5, 180 plus 5 is 185. And 185. And the next one is how much? 185 into 4 plus 4. 185 into 4 is how much? 185 into 4 plus 4. This will be 740 plus 4, 744. 744 into 3 plus 3. 744 into 3 plus 3 is how much? 745 into 3 plus 3. This will be 2235. 2235. Hence, choice 4. Into 6 plus 6, into 5 plus 5, into 4 plus 4, and into 3 plus 3. That is 2235. Choice 4 is the answer, 63. Then coming to question number 64. 5, 6, 20, 87, and 500, and 412. 5, 6, 20, 87, and 412. Again, now the number is starting with 5, ending with 412. As the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate, it must be under combination. 5, 6, 20, and next one 87, and 412. Now, 20 and 87, how can you express this one? Now, 20 into 4 plus 7, and 87 and 412. 87 and how much is this one? 87 into 5. If you take 87 into 5 is how much? 80 into 5, 407 into 5, 35, but as here it is minus. Or else, 87 into 4 if you take here, now here it cannot be minus because 5 into 1 plus 1 is 6. And 6 into 2 is how much? 6 into 2 is 12 plus 8 is 20 into 1 plus 1 cube into 2 plus 2 cube, isn't it? Next one, 20 into 3. 60 plus 27, that is 87 into 3 plus 3 cube. Next one is into 4 plus 4 cube. 87 into 4 plus 64, that is 412. And similarly, now we need to start with 3. And to find out this D, 3 into 1 plus 1 is how much? 4. And 4 into 2, 8 plus 8, 16. And 16 into 3, 48. 48 plus 27 is how much? 48 plus 27. And it is 75, and 75 into 4 is 300 plus 64, that is 364. This is A, B, C, and D. And the value that comes in the place of D is 364, choice 4. Question number 64, choice 4. Then coming to question number 65, 12, 22, 42, 82, 162, if you observe here. Each of these number is doubled, isn't it? Then 12 and 22 can be expressed as 12 into 2 is 24 minus 2 is 22. And 22 into 2 is 44 minus 2 is so much 42. And 42 into 2 is 84 minus 2 is 82. And 82 into 82 into 2. How much is this? 164 minus 2 will be 162. Into 2 minus 2, into 2 minus 2, into 2 minus 2 and so on. And similarly, starting with the 29, 29 into 2, 58 minus 2 is 56, and 56 into 2 is how much? 1, 1, 56 into 2, 1, 1, 2, minus 2 will be 110, 110 into 2 is how much? 110 into 2 is 220 minus 2 is 218. Now, this is A, B, C. Now, the question is about the value that comes in the place of E. Next one, 218 into 2, 218 into 2, 436. Minus 2 will be 434, and 434 into 2 minus 2. 434 into 2, 6, 8, 68. Minus 2 will be 866. Now, 866, and it is given choice 2. 
clear now? 866 choice 2 and the logic is into 2 minus 2 into 2 minus 2 and so on. Now this is about question number 61 to 65. <coughs> and then question number 66 onwards. Now 66 to 70. Eight friends J, K, L, M, V, W, X and Y are seated in a strike line facing north. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hence, in total, how many persons are there? There are some eight persons. Now, these eight persons are seated in a row facing towards north. L sits thought to the left of X. Now, L is seated thought to the left of X and V sits thought to the right of X. Then, what is the possibility here between L and V? There must be exactly five persons, isn't it? X is exactly between L and V and two, two persons in between L and X and X and V. Then tell me what are the different possibilities here? Now, if L is at the left extreme, then blank, blank, this will be X. Again, blank, blank, this will be V. This is one possibility. Then what is the second possibility we can have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. L is at the second place, X at this place, and V must be at this corner. And so how many possibilities we have? We have only two possibilities in this. L sits out to the left hand side of X and V sits out to the right of X. W sits second to the left of Z. Now this W is seated second to the left of Z. Then tell me what are the different possibilities we can have. W sits second to the left of Z and J is not an immediate neighbor of X. A J is not an immediate neighbor of X. J cannot be here and J cannot be here. A J cannot be in these two places and J cannot be here as well because there is no second place to the left hand side of this J. Hence, J cannot be in this one and J cannot be here as well because if J is here in this place and W and where should this W? W must be at this place, isn't it? And W sits second to the left of J. As W sits second to the left of J in this one, now between W and J there must be exactly one person. W sits second to the left of J, isn't it? Hence, J. J cannot be in this place as well. If J is here, X and W must be in the same place which is not possible, isn't it? Hence, J cannot be here. Then what is the only place left over here? J must be at this place. If J is here, W sits second to the left of J, W must be at this place. Done with this? W sits second to the left of J. Then again coming to this one, J cannot be in these two places because J is not adjacent to X and J cannot be here as well because if J is here, W and X must be in the same place which is not possible and J cannot be here as well. And the only possibility left to this J is here. And if J is here, W must be here. Clear now? W sits second to the left of J, and J is not an immediate neighbor of X. Hence, now in these two cases, X and W must be in these, J and W. Then what is the next information here? J is not an immediate neighbor of X. Only two people between W and Y. Between W and Y, there are exactly two people, hence Y must be at this place. Between W and Y, there must be exactly two people, Y must be at this place. Only two people between W and Y. K is not an immediate neighbor of V. That is, K and V are not adjacent to each other. As K and V are not adjacent to each other, in the second case, K must be here. If K is here, then who is the person left over here? M is the person left over. And K is not an immediate neighbor of V, hence in this case K can be either here or K can be here. Then K is not an immediate neighbor of V, neither K nor M is an immediate neighbor of Y. Now sir, K, either K or M must be in this place because those are the only two persons left over. But as you hear, according to this statement, neither K nor M is an immediate neighbor of Y, hence K and M cannot be here. As K and M cannot be here, then both these two persons, K and M, cannot be seated in a single place. And this case is completely ruled out. Finally, we are left with only the second case. Then, now this is about question number 66 to 70. Yes, shall I explain the questions? 66 to 70. Then, 71 to 75, first to write down this arrangement. Then let us discuss about this question number 71 to 75. Now these question numbers 71 to 75 are based on coding and decoding. Now in this coding and decoding there are some four statements followed by their codes. Now we need to identify the codes for each and every word in the given codes. Then now in this one if you observe here 
if you compare the first and the second statements, tell me whether we can able to compare the first and the second statements or not. Layer of fresh fruits and in the second statement, nice baked chocolate cake, as there is no word which is common between the first and the second statements, hence we cannot compare these two, isn't it? Then, now compare the first and the third statements. If you compare these two, tell me which word is common between these two. Fruits is the only word which is common. As fruits is common between these two, and which code is common between the first and the third? And P K W A N D S Y. N D is the only code which is common between these two. Hence, the code to the word fruits is N D. Clear now? Then compare the first and the fourth. If you compare the first and the fourth, tell me what are the words which are common here? Layer of fresh. Off and layer are the two words which are common. It is also off and layer are the two words which are common. As two words are common, two codes will be common. Hence, the codes for these two words, layer and off, cannot be individually identified. Hence, the code to this word, layer and off, can be either PK or SY. PK, SY, and PK, SY in any order. The codes to these words could be either PK or SY in any order. Then, in the first statement, tell me what is left over here. Press is the only one word which is left over here. As fresh is left over here, then what is the code which is left over here? WA. Hence, the code to the word fresh is WA. Done with this? Fresh and WA. Then, compare the second and the third statements. If you compare the second and the third, nice baked chocolate cake, then which word is common here? Cake and baked are the two words which are common. As cake and baked are the two words which are common, hence two codes will be common. Then tell me what are the codes which are common between the second and the third statements? Cake and baked and the codes are OG and UC. OG and UC is common here also, OG and UC is common. Hence the codes to these can be either OG, UC in any order. Then compare the second and the fourth. If you compare these two, second and fourth, chocolate is the only one word which is common between these two. As chocolate is common between these two, tell me what is the word which is common here? Now between the second and the fourth, chocolate is common and the code which is common is GE. GE is common, hence the code to the word chocolate is GE. Then in the second one, baked chocolate cake were done. Now we are left with the word nice and what is the code left over here? The code to the word nice is ASS, nice and S. Then coming to the third one, now in the third one what is the only word left over here? C is the word left over. As C is the word left over, and the code which is left over is MI, and the code to the word C is MI. If C is MI, then in the last one, taste is the only one word left over here, N, and what is the code left here? BX, and the code to the word taste is BX. Done with this? And these are the words and their corresponding codes. Then question number 71. What will be the code for fresh chocolate? And fresh, fresh is WA, and the code to the word chocolate is GE, and so WA, GE in any order that is given in choice two. Then question number 72, what does the code OG stands for? Now this OG is the code to the word either cake or baked in any order, that is choice three. Then question number 73, what is the code for the word layer? Yes, tell me what is the code to the word layer here? Layer is either PK or SY choice 3. Either PK or SY choice 3. Then question number 74. What may be the possible code for nice sweet taste? Nice is AS and sweet. And what is sweet here? Sweet is nowhere given. And the code to the word taste is BX. Now AS and BX. And apart from this one, sweet is also there. AS, BX, choice one can be your answer. AS, BX, choice two. And three is completely ruled out. And four is also ruled out because BX is not there. Then fifth one. What about choice five here? Now in choice five, as AS, BX, choice one, there is a possibility. Choice two, three is ruled out. And four is also ruled out. Then fifth one, AS, BX is there. Hence, 1, 2, and 5 could be your answer. Out of which, tell me whether ND can be the code to the word sweet. 
ND cannot be the code to the word sweet because ND is the code to the word fruits, hence it cannot be the code to the word sweet, hence choice one is ruled out. Then tell me whether GE could be the code to the word sweet, no GE is chocolate, it cannot be the code to the word this one, hence what is your answer finally, choice 5 is left over, ASBX, TM, now TM is nowhere given in the codes, as TM is nowhere given in the codes and the code to this sweet could be TM. Hence choice 5. Then question number 75, what is the code for fruits? Yes, tell me what is the code here, ND choice 2. Question number 76, now this question number 76 is based on directions. First we need to draw the diagram to this one, a person starts walking from his home towards club. He walks for 20 meters towards east. Now let us take A is the starting point of this person. From this point A, from this point A, this is his house. This person walks how many meters? 20 meters towards east. He travelled 20 meters towards east. After travelling 20 meters towards east, he takes a left, 90 degrees left hand and walks for 30 meters. 90 degrees left hand side and walks for how many meters? 30 meters. He then takes a 90 degrees right hand and walks for another 10 meters. Right hand side and he travelled for how many meters? 10 meters. He walks for 20 meters east, he takes 90 degrees left turn and walks for 30 meters, he then takes 90 degrees right turn and walks for another 10 meters, he walks for 15 meters after taking 90 degrees left turn, isn't it? Now I will draw the diagram once again. Now let us take this is the starting point of this person A. From here first he travelled 20 meters towards east, 20 meters towards east, then he takes 90 degrees left hand and walks for 30 meters, left hand side 90 degrees and travel for 30 meters and from there then takes 90 degrees right turn and walks for 10 meters, right hand side and 90 degrees right and walks for 10 meters, then he walks for 15 meters after taking 90 degrees left hand side. He turns towards his left hand side and travel for 15 meters, 15 meters after taking 90 degrees left turn, turning 90 degrees towards his left again and he walks for 30 minutes. From here he turns towards his left hand side and travel for how many meters? 30 meters and reach the club. A is his house and B is the club, A is the house and B is the club. As A is the house and B is the club, then how far and in which direction is the club from his home. Now if you observe here the horizontal distance is 20 east and 10 east, 20 east and 10 east that is 20 plus 10 that is 30 meters towards east and similarly now this is 30 meters towards west, east and west to opposite directions hence the horizontal distance 30 minus 30 is 0. As the horizontal distance is 0, now we are left with only the vertical distance. Now tell me what is the total vertical distance here? This is 30 towards north and 15 towards north, and 30 plus 15 is so much 45 meters, isn't it? Now 45 meters towards which direction? 15 towards north, 30 towards north, 30 plus 15, 45 meters towards north that is given in choice, choice 3, 45 meters towards north, 76. Then question number 77 to 81, coded inequalities. Now the relation between K and U. K is here and U is here. What is the letter which is common between these two? R is common. R greater than U, which implies that U lesser than R. Now you can write U at this place, U lesser than R lesser than L lesser than K. That means between U and K, if you observe here U lesser than which symbol is common? Lesser is common. U lesser than K is true. As U lesser than K is true, K greater than U is definitely true. First conclusion. Then coming to the next one, X and G. Now, X and G, tell me what is the relation between X and G here? Is here. The letter which is common between these two is P is common. X lesser than P. X lesser than P, if you write here, X lesser than P equals to A lesser than or equals to G. Hence between X and G tell me which symbol is common here, lesser than is common. Hence X lesser than G definitely true, 
Hence, both one and two are true. That is choice one. Question number seventy-seven. It is choice one. Both the conclusions follow. Then seventy-eight. Now the relation between S and I. I is here and S is here. The letter which is common between these two is P is common. Now P to S. Now P to S. If you observe here, now there are two opposite symbols between these two, isn't it? Greater than and lesser than. As two opposite symbols are there, hence so no relation can be drawn between these two elements. Then coming to the next one, E and H. E and H. Now tell me which symbol is common here? Greater is common. Hence E greater than H definitely true. Only conclusion two follows. That is choice one. Question number seventy-eight. Choice one. Then seventy-nine. The relation between A and M. M is here. A is here between M and A. If you observe here, which symbol is common? Greater is common. M greater than A. A less than M definitely true. Then coming to the next one. The relation between J and S. Now J and S. Now. Tell me which element is common between these two? First conclusion definitely true. J and S. S is here and J is here. The letter which is common between these two is P is common, isn't it? Now P greater than J means J less than P. Now J less than P and P greater than H and H equals to A. A less than or equals to S. A less than or equals to S. Now between J and S, if you observe here. There is one lesser than and one greater than. Two opposite symbols between these two. Hence, no conclusion can be drawn. Only conclusion one is true. Choice one. Question number seventy-nine. It is choice one. Then eighty. Now, in question number eighty, if you observe here, both the conclusions are in between G and V only. Now, G is here, V is here. Tell me which element is common between these two. V greater than or equals to E. And e greater than or equals to g. As e is greater than or equals to g, e is greater than or equals to g. Now between v and g, tell me what is the conclusion here? V greater than or equals to g, definitely true. And from g to v, g is either lesser than or equals to v. Either it can be lesser than or it can be equals to. Hence either lesser or equal, to either one or two. And it is given choice five. Question number eighty, choice five. Question number eighty-one, the relation between P and L. P is here and L is here. Between P and L, there are two opposite symbols, one lesser than, one greater than. Hence, first one does not follow. Then coming to the second one, R and X. R is here and X is here. Between R and X, tell me which element is common here? P is common. Hence, X lesser than P. We can write X lesser than P and P. P to R. Now between X and R, if you observe here, lesser than and this is greater than. As there are two opposite symbols, two opposite symbols, no relation can be drawn. Hence neither one nor two. That is choice two. Question number eighty-one. Choice two is the answer. Then question numbers eighty-two to eighty-six. Now in this question numbers eighty-two to eighty-six, tell me what are the who are the persons here? Eight persons. S T U V. W X Y and Z are seated around a circular table of equal distance between each other, but not necessarily in the same order. Some of the people are facing the center, while some of the people are facing away from the center. Now, among these eight persons, some people are towards the center and some people are away from the center. Whenever some people are towards the center and away from the center is given, first we need to identify any person is facing the center or away from the center is given or not, isn't it? Then. Coming to this condition number one, Jad sits to out to the right of you. You faces the center clearly given. As you is facing the center clearly given, now I am fixing this you at this place. As you faces the center, Jad sits to out to the right of you. Hence, Jad will be here. Jad sits to out to the right of you. You faces the center, and only one person between Jad and X. How many persons are there in between Jad and X? There must be exactly one person. How many possibilities do we have? X can be either at this place. And there is a second possibility as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this U is facing the center. Z sits second to the right of U, and there is one person between Z and X. Either X is second to the left of Z or second to the right of Z. Only one person between Z and X. T sits second to the left of X. As T is seated second to the left of X, in the first case T must be here. 
then x will be away from the center. Then only t shifts a second to the left of x is possible. And t shifts a second to the left of x in this one, x must be towards the center, then t is here. t shifts a second to the left of x is true. t shifts a second to the left of x, t and x face the same direction. As t and x are facing the same direction, x is away from the center, t is also away from the center. Here in the second case, x is towards the center, t is also towards the center. t and x face the same direction. S sits to the immediate left of W. S sits to the immediate left of W, hence S and W are adjacent to each other. As S and W are adjacent to each other, then S sits to the immediate left of W. W and X face same direction. W and X facing the same direction. And V sits a second to the left of S. Now tell me where should this S and W? Can S be at this place? If S is here, S sits to the immediate left of W, then W must be here then W is facing towards the center. S sits to the immediate left of W. W and X face the same direction, but whereas W must be away from the center, isn't it? Hence W cannot be at this place. Are you following this one or not? Because W is facing away from the center, hence where should this W? W must be here, then W's immediate left hand side is S. S will be here. S sits to the immediate left of W. W and X face the same direction, W and X are opposite, are facing away from the center and V sits a second to the left of S. As V is seated second to the left of S, this S is away from the center, then V will be here. V sits a second to the left of S. V is not an immediate neighbor of W. As V is not an immediate neighbor of W, then who is the person left over here? Y is the person left over. Done? This is about case one. Then in the second case, T sits a second to the left of X, T sits a second to the left of X, then T and T and X face the same direction. Now T and X are facing the same direction. S sits to the immediate left of W, as S sits to the immediate left of W, and whatever this W here, W and X are facing the same direction. As W and X are facing the same direction, W is facing the center. If W is here, then S will be here, isn't it? Then W is facing the center, S will be here, that is one possibility. And V sits a second to the left of S. V sits a second to the left of S is not possible because now second to the left of S means either V must be in the place of Z or T, which is not possible. Hence W and S cannot be in these two places. Are you following this one or not? Then what is the second possibility here? As W is facing towards the center, W is here. If W is here, S will be here. Then V sits a second to the left of S. V sits a second to the left of S. V can be either here or here. There are two possibilities. Then V is not an immediate neighbor of W. As V is an not an immediate neighbor of W, V cannot be here. Hence, V must be here only. If V is here, V sits a second to the left of S. This S must be facing towards the center. Then only V sits a second to the left of S is true. Then who is the person left over here? Y is the person left over. Done with this? As of now, we have two possibilities. W and X facing the same direction, and V sits a second to the left of S, that is true. And V is not an immediate neighbor of W. Y sits a second to the right of V. As Y is seated second to the right of V, in the first case, V must be facing towards the center. And Y sits a second to the right of V, but whereas here, between Y and V, second to the right is not possible because Y and V are opposite to each other. Isn't it? And this Y can be, v sits, Y sits a second to the right of V. Y can be either the fourth left or fourth to the right in the second case. And this case is completely ruled out. Now we are left with only the first one. Immediate neighbors of S are facing opposite directions. Who are the immediate neighbors of S? W and Z. These two persons are opposite. Now W is away from the center and the Z is towards the center. W and Z are away from the center. Immediate neighbors of S face opposite directions. Immediate neighbors of T face the same direction. Immediate neighbors of T are facing the same direction means U and Y are facing the same direction. Done with this? Now this is how these eight persons are seated around this circular table. Then in this one question number 82. How many people in the given arrangement are facing the center? As tell me how many are facing towards the center? One, two, three, four. Four persons are towards the center and four persons are away from the center. That is choice one. 
then question number 83 what is v's position with respect to t v's position with respect to t t is away from the center v is thou to the right of t thou to the right that is given in choice thou to the right choice 3 then question number 84 who sits second to the right of w w is away from the center then t sits second to the right of w that is choice 4 <coughs> question number 85 four of the following four of the following is nothing but an odd man out then in this one w w is away from the center x is also away from the center s is away from the center t is away from the center but whereas v is towards the center except v except v and in the remaining choices except v the remaining choices all the persons are away from the center now this v is towards the center then choice 5 is the answer next one question number 86 now in this 86 which of the following is true regarding y as per the given arrangement only one person sits between y and s in between y and s how many persons are there there are three persons and first one is false u is an u is one of the immediate neighbors of y u is one of the immediate neighbors of y this is also false y faces outside y is facing towards the center this is also false three people between y and w this is also false t sits to the immediate right of y that is definitely true then what is your answer here choice 5 t sits to the immediate right of y is definitely true choice 5 is the answer and this is about question numbers 82 to 86 then question numbers 87 onwards 87 to 91 these five questions are based on floor arrangement m n o p q r and s live on seven different floors of a building but not necessarily in the same order the lowermost floor of the building is number one the one above that is number two and so on till the topmost floor is number seven each one of them also likes a different cartoon characters namely mermaid flintstone dexter poppy aladdin spike and tweety now seven persons living on seven different floors and like seven different characters as well now as the floor arrangement is given first we need to fix the floors at the center 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 seven persons living on seven different floors and like seven different characters then condition number one the one who likes sweetie the one who likes sweetie lives on floor number five now whoever the person lives on this floor number five and this person likes the character tweetie the one who likes sweetie lives on floor number five only one person lives between n and the one who likes sweetie n and the one who likes sweetie how many persons are there there is exactly one person and so how many possibilities do we have two possibilities now n can be on the third floor and the second possibility is as tweety is on the fifth floor if n is above this tweety n will be on the seventh floor how many possibilities do we have we have some two possibilities n can be either on the third floor or on the seventh floor because there must be exactly one person between n and the one who likes tweety and only two people lives between live between n and r between n and r there are there must be exactly two people hence in case one r must live on floor number six and in case two r must live on floor number four only two people live between n and r the one who likes poppy lives on one of the odd number floors below r one of the odd numbers floors below r and this poppy can be either on the third floor or on the first floor here in the second case also below this r this poppy can be either on the third floor or on the first floor and the one who likes this poppy does not live on the lowermost floor hence first floor is ruled out and this poppy must be on floor number three itself floor number three done and only three people live between the one who likes poppy and the one who likes mermaid between mermaid and poppy how many persons there must be exactly three people and this one must be mermaid floor number seven poppy and mermaid there must be exactly three and this must be mermaid poppy and mermaid there must be exactly three people 
S lives on one of the even number floors below the one who likes mermaid. Below the mermaid, S even number floor, and chest can be either on the fourth floor or on the second floor, isn't it? And it also, S can be either, S must be on the, S can be either on the sixth floor or on the second floor. There are two possibilities. S lives on one of the even number floors below the one who likes mermaid, and the one who likes Dexter lives immediately below S. Dexter lives immediately below S. Now in the first case, S can be either on the fourth floor or on the second floor, out of which S cannot be on the fourth floor. Why? If S is on the fourth floor, then this Dexter must be on the third floor, which is not possible. Hence, S cannot be on the fourth floor. Hence, S must be on the second floor. If S is on the second floor, now this Dexter must be on the first floor. Then again, coming to this one in the second case, S can be either on the sixth floor or on the fourth, second floor. Out of which, if you take S is on the sixth floor, then Dexter must be on the fifth floor, which is not possible. Hence, S cannot be on the sixth floor. And in the second case also, S must be on the second floor. And this Dexter must be on the first floor. Done with this? And this is about S and the Dexter. Next one. Yes, tell me what is the next information here? Only two people live between the one who likes Dexter and the one who likes Aladdin. Between Dexter and Aladdin, there must be exactly two people. Hence, this must be Aladdin. Between Aladdin and this one, there must be exactly two people here. This Aladdin must be on fourth floor. And between Dexter and Aladdin, there must be exactly two people. This Aladdin must be on the fourth floor. And only two people live between the one who likes Dexter and the one who likes Aladdin. M lives immediately above the one who likes Aladdin. M is immediately above the one who likes Aladdin. Then, now in first case, M must be on the fifth floor. And in the second case, now in the second case also, M must be on the fifth floor. M lives immediately above the one who likes Aladdin. The one who likes Spike lives immediately above P. Immediately above P, this Spike must be there. Now tell me what are the different possibilities. Now in case one, can Spike, can P be on the fourth floor? If P is on the fourth floor, spike must be on, fourth, on the fifth floor, which is not possible. Hence, P cannot be on the fourth floor. And P cannot be on the seventh floor, because if P is on the seventh floor, and this spike must be immediately above this one, not possible. Hence, P cannot be on the seventh floor, cannot be on the fourth floor. Hence, P must be on the first floor. If P is on the first floor, and the one who likes a spike must be on the second floor. Clear enough? Then again, coming to this one second case. Now, if P is on the sixth floor, then spike must be on the seventh floor, not possible. Hence, P cannot be on the sixth floor. Then, if P is on the third floor, then this spike must be on the fourth floor. That is also not possible. Hence, here also, P must be on the first floor, and the spike must be on the second floor. The one who likes spike will be on the second floor. And O neither likes Popia nor, nor Mermaid. As O does not like Mermaid, hence, O must be on the fourth floor. And if O is on the fourth floor, and the person who is left over is Q will be on the seventh floor. And again, coming to this one, second one, O likes neither Popia nor Mermaid. O cannot be here, hence O must be on the sixth floor. As O is on the sixth floor, and the person who is left over is Q must be on the third floor. Then finally, and which character is left over here? And flip, yes, tell me which character is left over. Flintstone. As Flintstone is the character which is left over, hence Flintstone must be on. Flintstone must be on floor number six, and it is. And who is staying on floor number six? R. And similarly here also, O is living on floor number six, and this O likes Flintstone. But whereas according to this one, O does not like Flintstone is clearly given. But as in case two, finally we got that this O likes Flintstone, and this case is ruled out. Now, with the help of the last statement, the second case got invalid. Till the last statement, both the cases are valid. Hence, in these type of questions, you should always go accordingly the possibilities. If you have started with this one, finally, with the last statement, what happened is this is invalid. Then again, you should start with this one, which will be very hectic to you. Hence, we should always start simultaneously the given possibilities. Done with this? Then, question number 87. Which of the following statements is true with respect to the given arrangement? None of the given options is true. Choice to S lives on floor number 4. S is on floor number 4, that is false. 
P likes Dexter, that is definitely true, choice 3. Question number 87, choice 3 is the answer. 88, if all the people are made to sit in alphabetical order from top to bottom, the positions of how many people will remain unchanged? From top to bottom, all the persons are made to sit according to their alphabetical order. Then, top to bottom, this must be M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Tell me how many persons remain in the same place. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Not even a single person remain in the same place. Hence, none is done. Isn't it? All these seven persons made to arranged in the alphabetical order from top to bottom. Then question number 89, which of the following combinations is it true with respect to the given arrangement? Tweety is M. Tweety is M definitely true, isn't it? And mermaid and P, mermaid and P is false. Choice one is the answer 89. Then question number 90, which of the following cartoon characters does Q like? Yes, Q likes mermaid, that is choice three. Question number 90, choice three. Then 91. Who among the following lives on floor number two? On floor number two, yes, the one who likes Spike lives on floor number two, that is given in choice five. And this is about question number 87 to 91. Let's write down this arrangement. Then let us discuss about this 96, 92 to 96. Now question numbers 92 to 96, these five questions are based on syllogisms. Now some penalties are fines, can be written like this, these are the penalties which are fines, some penalties are fines, no fine is charged, no intersection between fine and charge, and all the charges are what, all charges are duties. Now this is the basic diagram, some penalties are fines, no fine is a charge, and all charges are duties. Then first one, some charges are penalties, true or false, some charges are penalties, charge is here and penalty is here, no intersection between these two, that is false. No duty is fine, no duty is fine, that is definitely true. Yes, which statement is true here? Second statement. Now, second conclusion is true. As the second conclusion which is true, it is a negative conclusion. Hence, in order to make this one false, we need to prove whether it can be false at least once. No duty is fine. Now, we need to prove some duties are fines or not. Some duties are fines, tell me whether I can extend this duty like this or not. Now, duty can be extended like this or not. Now, sir, what is the negative statement here? Negative statement in between fine and charge. Now, this fine and charge cannot be intersected, but whether this duty and fine can be intersected or not. Hence, alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. As previous conclusion is false, then, then we need to check out what? Then we need to check out the affirmative conclusion which was false in the basic diagram. After making the previous negative conclusion false, then we should check out the affirmative conclusion which was false in the basic diagram. Because if it is true, it will be either or, or else neither nor. Then the first one, some charges are penalties. Now charge is here, penalty is here, now also it is false. Hence, neither one nor two. Neither one nor two, choice one is the answer. Done with this? Now this is about question number 92, choice one. Then 93, some ends are start. Some of the ends are starts can be written like this, end and start some ends are starts and all beginnings are starts, all the beginnings are starts, beginning can be written like this and all ends are finishes, all these ends are what, all ends are finishes. Then first one, no finish is beginning, no finish is beginning is true as of now and the second one is a possibility, first we should finalize the definite conclusion, now the first definite conclusion which is a negative conclusion is true, now to make this one false we need to Draw its complementary pair, that is the alternate diagram. No finish is a beginning. Now, in order to make this one false, now we need to prove some finishes are beginnings, isn't it? Now, this is how to prove this some finishes are beginning. As some finishes are beginning is true, no finish is a beginning will be false. Alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Then coming to the second one, all beginnings are ends is a possibility. All beginnings are ends is a possible or not? Now, sir, now. As all the statements are affirmative statements, now we can draw a single diagram for all the possibilities, isn't it? That is, finish equals to E equals to beginning equals to S. Hence, in this one, it is possible. Then what is your answer here? Only conclusion 2. Is it true? Choice 2. 93, choice 2 is the answer. 
then question number 94 no form is shape now this is form and this is shape no form is shape and all forms are pictures no form is shape and all forms are pictures then first one is a possibility second one all pictures are forms all pictures are forms that is false then first conclusion if you observe here all shapes are pictures is a possibility all shapes are pictures is a possibility means tell me whether we can prove that one or not now this shape tell me whether i can bring my shape like this or not all shapes are pictures is possible because shape and this form should not be intersected without intersecting into this form i can draw this shape like this hence it is possible then what is your answer here only conclusion one is true choice one question number 94 choice one is the answer then 95 some ends or start 95 some of the ends or starts can be written like this some ends or starts and all beginnings or starts all beginnings or starts some ends or starts all beginnings or starts all ends or finishes all ends or finishes then coming to the first conclusion some finishes are start some finishes are start definitely true second one some starts are not ends some starts are not ends definitely true because these are the starts which are not ends these are the starts which are not ends isn't it hence the second conclusion is true what is the second conclusion here it is a negative conclusion as a negative conclusion is true now in order to make this one false now we need to check out its complementary pair what is the complementary pair to this one some not some starts are not ends now its complementary pair is all starts are ends now tell me whether we can prove all starts are ends or not now this end i am writing like this now if this is end all ends are these forms can also be like this isn't it again all the statements are affirmative you can write as a single diagram if you write as a single diagram alternate diagram proven previous conclusion will be false and again if you observe here all the statements are affirmative statements as the statements are affirmative statements negative conclusion cannot be done that can be straight away ruled out and finally we are left with only conclusion one is true choice one question number 95 choice one then 96 all numbers are alphabets all numbers are alphabets can be written like this all these numbers are what all numbers are alphabets and all digits are numbers all digits are numbers all numbers are alphabets and no letter is a number no letter is a number letter and a number should not be intersected no letter is a number all digits are numbers all numbers are alphabets then first one no letter is a digit no letter is a digit true or false definitely true as of now and second one all digits are alphabets this is also definitely true now between these two conclusions which followed then the first conclusion is a negative conclusion now to check this one whether it is 100 percent is true or not now we need to check out its alternate diagram what is the complementary pair here no letter is a digit means now we need to prove some of the letters or digits now tell me whether we can prove like this some letters or digits if you prove some letters or digits like this then the statement what is the statement no number is a letter will be false as the statement invalid alternate diagram cannot be drawn and this will be true forever done hence what is your answer here both the conclusions follow both one and two that is choice three question number 96 it is choice three is the answer then 97 to 99 now question number 97 m is a sister of whom m is a sister of p m is a sister of p can be written like this m is a sister of p m is a sister of p p is married to j m is a sister of p p is married to j l is the mother of j this L is the mother of J and L has only two sons. L has only two sons and there is no daughter here. Hence J is one of the son and one more son is also there. And T is married to L as L is a female. T is married to L means T is a male. L and T are married to each other. M is married to Z. M is a female married to Z, a male. M and J are married couple. S is the son of Z. S is the son of G. D is the daughter of P. Now this D is the daughter of P. Now P is a female. Done with this? Now this is the family tree. Then question number 97. How is P related to T? Now T is here. Tell me how is this P related to T? Now T to P, tell me what is the path here? T to J. T to J means J is the son of T, son's wife. 
son's wife is daughter-in-law. Hence, P is the daughter-in-law of this T, choice 4, 97 choice 4. Then question number 98, how is M related to D? Now D is here and M is here, then what is the path from D to M? D to P, P to M. D's mother is P, mother's sister, mother's sister is aunt, choice 4. D's mother is P and P's sister is M, mother's sister is aunt. Then question number 99, how is S related to D? Yes, tell me how is this S related to D? Now we need to check out from D to S. Now from D to S, tell me what is the path here, D to P? D to P is D's, mother is P, mother's sister is M, that is mother's sister is aunt, aunt's son, aunt's children, aunt's children are cousins to each other. Hence, how is S related to D? S is a male, hence cousin brother choice 4. 99 choice 4. Then question number 100. Now this question number 100 is based on directions. Point A is 40 meters to the south of point B. A is 40 meters to the south of point B. Now tell me how to represent this one. 40 meters to the south of, now if B is here. Now A is at this place and what is the distance between these two? A is 40 meters to the south of B. Now the distance between these two is 40 meters. A is 40 meters to the south of B and C is 20 meters to the east of A. C is 20 meters to the east of A, this is 20 and D is 10 meters to the south of C. Now this D is 10 meters to the south of C, south of C. D is exactly midway between E and F in such a manner that E, D, F form a horizontal straight line, straight line of 40 meters. E is to the west of D. As E is to the west of D, E will be here. E, D and F, E is to the west of D, E is to the west of D. And so what is the total distance between these two? 40. And this will be 20 and this will be 20 because this D is exactly midway between these two. D is exactly midway between E and F in such a manner that E, D and F forms a horizontal straight line of 40 meters and E is to the west of D. And how far and in which direction is point E from point B? Now we need to identify the distance between these two, point E to point B. Yes, tell me what is the total distance between E and B? Now B to A it is 40 towards south. Now this is C to D it is 10 towards south. This is 40 and this is 10. In total 40 plus 10, 50 meters. 50 meters towards which direction? 50 meters south. That is given in choice. 50 meters south choice for is the answer. Done with this? Now this is about paper number 10441, question number 61 to 100. Yes, any doubts in this? 61 to 100. 